Oh, shit. Let me get in that. Oh, excuse me. No, I, I put it in the notes. Topic number two. Topic number two. Brick Baby versus uh, DW Flame. Now, I'm not going to say this is a versus because they're still friends, to my assumption. Do they have some stuff to work out? I'm pretty sure they do. Let me break the story down. About a month ago, two months ago, I'm going to keep this shit short. About a month ago, two months ago, DW Flame, rapper out of Long Beach, California, rapper uh, Nick Cannon's little homie, might catch him in Wildin' Out, might catch him in some other shit associated with Nick Cannon. And Brick Baby, uh, self-proclaimed self -proclaimed, uh, hood general, uh, podcaster, 60s crit. With that being said, about a month or two ago, uh, in the midst, <laughs> in the midst of DW Flame asking for a cigarette, he says something that's very, very, very disrespectful to Brick Baby and everybody Brick Baby is associated with. Something very, very disrespectful. Very, very disrespectful. Uh, to fully understand it, you got to be from California or be very familiar with California politics when it comes to street culture. With that being said, Brick Baby caught a lot of a lot of blowback because he didn't do nothing or say nothing once DW Flame came with the disrespect. Uh, if you ask anybody from the streets, from the gang culture, from the street life, from the street culture, if somebody disrespects you with words, put it like this, put it like this, put it like this. Uh, everybody remembers Menace in Society. Very, very early in the movie Menace in Society, one man told another man, SMD. You see what happened to the, to the man that said SMD, right? That That's the code. Uh, Samuel Jackson and Menace in Society, if you need an example of the street code and the street culture when it comes to SMD, that's the perfect example. Um, rat a tat tat what the fuck, man? <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't explain it to you no better than that. Uh, what DW Flame said to Brick Baby is worse than SMD when it comes to California politics. I say all that to say this. Oh, man. A lot of people got involved that I won't, that I won't speak of just now. <laughs> uh, a lot, a lot of people got involved in this. DW Flame and Brick Baby both are associated with a whole, whole lot of niggas. What old Solo said, whole lot of niggas. Winky Wright, whole lot of niggas. Uh, with that being said, we hear FUTV. <laughs> we we hear FUTV. Do not promote violence. We don't want anything to happen to any of these people, especially if it's a young black male. With that being said, I don't think anything's gonna happen. DW Flame. I met DW Flame one time. <laughs> And he'll remember if I tell the story, but it was definitely Riverside and it was definitely a, a show at a at some type of auditorium. Uh, DW Flame, I say that to say DW Flame, I don't think Brick Baby really too much really want to fuck with DW Flame. They friends, so I, I don't think Brick Baby wants to cross him. Uh, DW Flame, in my opinion, if you ask me, oh, fuck Brick Baby up. So Brick Baby might want to keep that motherfucking, he might want to keep that relationship solid. With that being said, make sure y'all comment. Let me know what y'all think about that. And that was a lot of time on that topic. So I'm going to keep it moving to the third topic. You know the third topic? I always get